Hi everyone, my name is Lena Wynn. I'm a family law attorney. Today I'm going to answer the question, can I get a divorce in Texas if my spouse is not a resident? The short answer is yes. Residency requirements must be met by one or both of the parties in order for a Texas court to grant a divorce. Let us assume you meet the Texas requirements in which you've been living in Texas for at least six months and you filed for divorce in the county in which you've been living in for at least 90 days. So how does a Texas court acquire the power to order your non-resident spouse to pay spousal support? Here are five ways a non-resident spouse can be subjected to a Texas court order. Number one, your spouse is able to be served under Texas law. Your spouse is able to be served in Texas if all four of the following requirements are met. Number one, your spouse was a resident or domiciled in Texas when the divorce was filed. Two, Texas was the last marital residence for both of you. Three, the divorce was filed within two years after the marital residence ended. And four, every court's favorite catch-all, it is considered fair under the law. Number two, your spouse has connections to Texas and it is considered fair under the law. Here are some examples. Making trips to Texas several times to further a marital relationship is one scenario in which courts have deemed a spouse to have sufficient connections to Texas. Meanwhile, a spouse who buys marital property in Texas without any involvement from the other spouse does not have sufficient connections to Texas. Number three, your spouse is properly served with process while in the state. If your spouse is in Texas and is properly served while in Texas, your spouse can be subjected to a Texas ruling. In addition, Texas courts can still acquire jurisdiction or power over your spouse even if your spouse is temporarily outside of Texas. Number four, your spouse waives service of process. Your spouse can waive service of process and essentially subject himself or herself to a Texas ruling by signing a waiver in front of a notary and filing it with the court. And number five, your spouse makes a general appearance. A general appearance is when your spouse comes to court and appears in the case. The only exception is if your spouse is at court to argue that the court has no jurisdiction. This is also known as a special appearance. That means that they are there to tell the court that the court does not have the authority to hear the case. So if your spouse shows up, they're automatically tied to a Texas ruling, unless they are there to argue a special appearance. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you live in Texas and would like a free self-help divorce kit, please check the description box below to sign up.